All right. For a great many years, the only caliper I had in my box was a dial caliper. This particular brown and sharp dial caliper is 100 per rev, 100 graduation, 100 thou on the scale. Now, is one better than the other? For the most part, let's demonstrate the functions of these things and uh, stick around for the digital, you might be surprised. Okay, caliper, standard caliper, measures outside, boom, measures inside, what else? Did you know that you can use this back step on your caliper as a height gauge? Take the caliper, press the caliper against the part, make sure it's against, move the whole thing down. There you go, height gauge built in. That's three, right? Inside, outside, height gauge. What else you got? Well, this little thing sticking out the back, it doesn't just stick out the back for fun. It's for checking depths of holes or features that you can't get the whole instrument in. When you do this, make sure that you're not cocked side to side and you're vertically in line with the axis of the hole. Drive it down until it stops. When you lift it out, you get the indication of how deep the hole is. Of course, this hole is not an inch oh, 20 something deep because I rushed it. Let's go just like that. That's a little bit better. Now, if you're going to use any of these features to check a part, make sure that you qualify the part or qualify the instrument that you're using before you use it in that manner. If you know you have something that's exactly one inch and you want to press this up against your standard check it. You know that you can trust this surface to this surface because it measures one inch. But take and set it down on your part like this and slide the slide, I guess, down and see what you get. A lot of these will have this end feature just a little different than the end of the beam on the vernier. Now old timers call these very nears because if you want to trust something, if you want to measure something, Unless you have a really good feel and you're the only one that's ever used your caliper, chances are they're going to get you close but not dead on like a micrometer or a bore mic. So keep that in mind. Vernier is called a very near for a very specific reason. But this is a dial caliper. I like them. I trust them. Let's take a look at the digital. What does the digital offer that the dial doesn't? Well, this particular Mitatoyo offers two modes. It offers Let's go for the zero mode, which is good. It offers metric and imperial. This little button on the top. Okay, so instantly back and forth between imperial and metric. I would say that's advantage number one. Other than that, it measures OD, it measures ID. You can use the back step exactly the same way. It gives you the beam for depth holes or depths of holes. And it's got one additional feature, so the digital will give you two extra advantages over the dial. And here's the, here's the function. And this is a function that I like. If you have something that you want to say, okay, well, let's go measure the length of this screw. Let's say 9, 16 and a half. Now, that seems kind of long. Let's check it out. Yep. Always zero a caliper before you use it. I don't care if it's a dial or a digital. Say 916. Now, if you wanted to adjust all the other screws that you have to this 916 and not go crazy with the calculator, well, now is when you hit the zero button, okay? That is now your standard. When this reads zero, I don't want to press it. When this reads zero, it's 916 and a half. That is your new zero point. So if you're looking for parts that are over or under, let the caliper do the math for you. It will tell you if the parts are over or under or how much more needs to be faced off. It's like a go no-go gauge. Look at that. You're not messing around. You don't have to start thinking about, oh, okay, I wanted 434, it's 437 or 438. The caliper automatically tells you the difference from the standard once you do that. And if you want to go back and check what the standard is, close it. When you close it, it'll tell you what it was zeroed out at. So the digital, I think the digital has the advantage Although I was never a big fan of digitals, this Mitatoyo has really proven itself in my opinion, and I do like it and I do use it all the time. So two advantages, the Imperial 
metric conversion for one and the ability to take it to an extent zero it out and use that as a go no go indicator in my opinion the digital has the advantage as far as utility is concerned but you can't go wrong with the dial either and in my own experience I would rather have a caliper that doesn't have anything more than 100 per revolution I don't know if they offer them personally I didn't look that up before I made this video but 100 gives you a lot of space in between the lines easier to read voila there you go digital dial you make the choice guys it's up to you this is a quickie thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it